Okay, hi guys, my name is Bryony and I'm running for Vice President of Academic Quality. Um, for me, this all started when I became a course rep three years ago and I realised that I could actually have a positive effect upon all of my student cohort and obviously for myself. Um, as student rep, over just over the past year, I've had many, many successes. So we've had changes in timetables that have suited people and I've worked together with the sociology and the criminology sociology programmes that have introduced a consolidation week in February and that's um, helped over 300 different students. So if I can do that as a course rep and as a single member, as Vice President of Academic Quality and with the whole team, I'd like to extrapolate that to help the entire student body. I think that's a really, really positive thing. It felt really good for me and I know for other students it was great. Um, the other thing is the fact that John Moores has a great added value aspect to all of their courses. I wasn't expected to do very well when I came here off the back of my A-levels and I've really fulfilled my full potential and I've, I think I'm going to succeed. And I really, really want to make sure that all other students succeed and fulfil their potential as well. Um, I've also been working over the last six months as a student voice support assistant, which means I've been talking to students day in, day out for six months about what they want, what their problems are, what they want changing and what they need. And I feel that that has really, really set me up well to help them. Thanks. Um, my name's Lorraine and I do media, culture and communications. I'm just an average student like all of you guys, so I've not, mainly not have had much <coughs> experience in the SU side, but I understand you the same way that you understand me. Um, I really want to increase like contact time between lecturers and teachers, t tutors because like you want like your tutors to be like approachable and understandable like you don't want to go to your lecture and feel like oh, i can't say anything to them or i don't understand this so i'm not going to say anything i'm just going to stay away um you also want a sense of community among your group in your course uh secondly i want to in improve teaching and library facilities because obviously you're paying like nine grand and that's a lot of money to be paying for like what we've got at the moment and i think that needs to be improved on definitely um that needs to be accessible at all times, uh, especially books and journals and things like that, and uh, help with those things. Um, I also want to improve diversity awareness, because obviously I am an Afro-Caribbean student, and I don't think I'm represented at all in this university, and I want to make sure that we're represented, not only just me, but everyone, all different people are represented in this university, um, whether that's in the image or um, making people feel comfortable within this university as well. And um, I'm very passionate about helping students and obviously I feel like I should have been helped more. And <laughs> um, maybe not so involved in the SU, but I've also got my team as well that can help me with the inside information, um, with anything to do with the student voice. And I just want to <laughs> help you the same way you've helped me. <laughs> Okay, personally I think the strikes have been, for, for teachers have been advertised wrong. The main position behind the strikes are not just about a pay rise. Half the issue with these strikes is they're bringing in more and more and more <coughs> students every year and they've taken the cap off and students can now take up to, well they can take as many students as they like. This means that lecturers are being put under more strain every single year. They have more students. This university has a student staff ratio of 26 students per member of staff. That's really, really not as, you know, that could be miles better compared to other universities. So my position is to support these strikes. The more you support them, the more they'll get, they get better teaching and it impacts positively upon your student experience. So by a, by supporting them, they'll succeed, you'll succeed, and do you know what, they'll end quicker. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just to pick up on what you've said, um, I think it's great supporting uh, lecturers, but I think as well, like obviously, the students need to be um, addressed, yeah. and having yeah. strikes all the time <laughs> is not helping fair to students like myself. All right. Um, <laughs> um, also, um, 
it's to be expected in this kind of job. If you want to be a lecturer, you have to understand that these kind of strains are going to come along. And to be honest, like it's not the fault of the university or um, the students. And if they go on strike, like it doesn't help the student. So um, I think that lecturers should be more careful about how they strike and when they strike, yeah, yeah. and not just on Thursday <laughs> afternoons when they've got to be And do you think this should be reversed? And also, <coughs> as your role, how would you campaign this? Um, I think that's more of a governmental issue, which obviously starts at the university. Um, I think the nine grand fees are absolutely disgusting. Um, especially, well, for me, I've not had to pay that, that much. But I don't think I would have come to university if I knew that I had to pay that amount of money. So well done to any of you that have come to university. Um, I definitely think they should be lowered. Um, and I think that comes along with um, protesting and just getting straight to the government, I think. Yeah. Um, I, I hate the nine grand free fees, obviously they're horrible, and again, I haven't had to pay nine grand fees, but lots of my friends have, and again, like you said, I probably wouldn't have come to university with nine grand fees a year, I think it's horrendous. Now, the likelihood of reversal is probably quite low, but that doesn't mean that you can't try and do something about it. You need to start lobbying now, you need to get student voices, you need to get petitions, you need to get as many people signing these things as possible. And I think you need to unite lots of students' unions. You can't do it alone. You need to get every single students' union in the UK together. You need all of them to be petitioning and doing their piece together, and then together, and everybody, we might have more effect. <laughs> Lorraine, this one's for you. How do you plan to get minority students more involved in the SU? Um, I think that's definitely come along with working with Josh, definitely with the community um, and the activities. I think that really the image of the university, when I first came here, when I looked at the university, I didn't see any black faces, um, any different ethnicities or anything like that so really I think that we need to acknowledge them more as a university so whether that's branding or whatever um, to make sure that we're all represented um, and as well making sure that there's groups as well that people can go to and talk about this. Can I also ask you that question please? Yeah sure. Um, I think you need to find out like different students from different backgrounds are on all different courses so you need to be targeting absolutely everybody in the, student, in, in the university, whether that be through um, first year contact time with um, tutors, they need to be making sure that they know who their students are. The students' union need to know who their students are and where they are in the university and what they're doing and that's, that's the only way you can target them. And by asking them how they need support, you can then provide that support. Thank you. Thanks.